Hello, everybody. So, 4th of July is coming up soon. Of course, everybody knows that. The, the day that we celebrate our independence as a nation of the United States of America that was declared in the, back in the 18th century in 1776, mid-1770s, I mean, I mean, and, and also, guys, there's only two holidays that have fireworks. Fourth of July, of course, July 4th, and December 31st, New Year's Eve. There's a, clearly, of the year, there's a main, it happens once a year, two main holidays, fireworks. How would you celebrate the 4th of July this year? Type in the comments below, and even with the USA flag. And the nation is not just about the flag or the politicians and all that, because in the US, even on the Bill of Rights and the Constitution says, we the people, it doesn't say we the Republicans, we the Democrats, we Donald Trump, or we Joe Biden, it doesn't say that. It says we the people. It means we are their boss, no matter who's in office in that White House on the chair. And as long as God's on his throne in heaven, and he knows that we the people are running the United States of America. But no matter what, God, it's God's country. God runs it. In the earth. He runs the whole earth and the whole universe in it. And yes, of course, the earth is part of the universe. But what I'm saying is that the universe is run by God. He created it. He owns it. And it's free. No cost. All right, that's all I have to say, and what do you guys think? And also, guys, what do you think about Donald Trump and this whole thing with immunity, thinking that he's a king of the United States? Type in the comments below. The only man who's a king is Jesus Christ himself, who's declared he's the Messiah 2,000 years ago in the first century. This has nothing to do with the 4th of July, but I just want to put this in the video. Jesus is the only one who's the king. Just remember that. No man is above him. None.